whatever that thing was popping up. Should be live on Facebook. tracks of who's joining us. <laughs> I remind myself of um, Lord of the Rings with the blonde hair oh. dude, uh, Legolas. Yeah. <laughs> I look like him right now. Okay. So we are here. Uh, people can see us. Hey, everyone. It's Alex and Kim from the Brook County Libraries. We're doing our Cook by the Book Recipe Club again, obviously just with us too. We hope that the mics are a lot better. We invested in two clip-on ones and I'm sorry if it's rustling. We're still getting used to everything that we're implementing. Um, we are using our laptops, so we will try to keep you um, um, accessible to where people are working at. Um, if you have comments, I am monitoring things on our iPad. Um, so let us know, comment on it. Um, keep in mind next month, um, if you would like to join live and actually talk back and forth with us. Um, we are doing this through Zoom and then broadcasting it on Facebook. So um, email us bcpl at weirton.lib.wv.com. We'll send you the link and that'll be the link that you would use to join with us. Did I say .com? Yeah. .us. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> I think I know it by now. I'm going to let Kim get started because she has a lot, a little bit more in depth than what I, I already did some of my prep work. Okay, today I am making a big mac salad in a jar. This recipe will make four jars um, that you can make, um, say like on Sunday night, you can make four jars that will last you throughout the week. Um, the first thing we have to do is just brown um, one pound of ground beef. I mean, you could just season your ground beef um, any way you want. I'm just going to use salt and pepper and onion powder and garlic powder. Whatever, whatever is good for you. I'm fine. While this is browning, we're going to make our Big Mac sauce. I'm not, I don't really usually get Big Macs at McDonald's. Do you? Do you? I am a double, double quarter pounder with cheese or something like that. I'm just going to make What's impossible? Impossible I never had that. It is the Tablespoons of ketchup and one tablespoon of relish. Now, as I told you last 
not that one, like keto diet. So you can't really have ketchup, but they have the no sugar added. Heinz has the no sugar added ketchup, which only has one carb. So that is what we'll be using. There's some sizzle, sizzle. That's a cup of mayo. This is supposed to be enough sauce for four jars, but we're gonna see. Well, I have salad, I like a lot of dress <laughs> dressing. <laughs> My glasses are fogging up. I usually use a frying pan to ground my ground beef, but we don't have any frying pans here. I did not realize that. We have a pan, but we don't have any frying pans. All right, so half a cup of mayo, two tablespoons of ketchup. And a tablespoon of relish. Do you like relish? I, I do. I know I you're a big like pickle person. You like pickles, right? Oh, I love pickles. No. I'm a sweet pickle person too. I like the. I do too. Bread. I like bread and butter pickles. I was trying to share your recipe right now, but I think because we're live, it's not allowing me to share an image. So I will share the recipe right when we are done going live. I like the idea of making like your lunches ahead of time, like oh, what do they call prepping? Prepping. Which I do that sometimes. I make waffles on Sunday for the whole week. You have a waffle maker? I have like a little mini waffle maker. Do you freeze yours though? Because that's yeah. what I've been. Somebody was telling me that you could make a whole bunch and freeze them, and then you could just go in and grab a few. But my question is, how long would they last in the freezer? Because I would do that. I would freezer. think they would last just like could you buy frozen waffles at store? I, I make like 10 waffles on a Sunday, so they last me for the whole week. Yeah. And I just keep them in it. You know, airtight container in the refrigerator. I guess this made more sauce than what I thought. So this is our Big Mac sauce. I can't tell you if it actually tastes like Big Mac sauce because I don't like Big Mac. The color's right. The color's right. <laughs> Someone told me that it's like Thousand Island dressing. Something like that, yeah. And I'm not a huge Thousand Island fan for some reason, but I like the Big Mac sauce. So. Maybe it's just in the context of what you're eating. I um actually got a big one of these Big Mac salads from one of these milk meal, meal prep places, Toronto. And that's first, and it I really liked it. Since I can't have any bread, but now that Alex told me that all these has zero bar bread. <laughs> it does. People are excited to find it. I was trying not to eat as much bread because sometimes when you go home, you make hamburgers or you make something that also has a bread on it. So I was like, yeah. I'm not giving up bread, but I'll give up a lot of meat. And I saw that and so I wasn't eating bread for lunch close to sandwiches, but I found a zero car that has higher protein in it. Yeah. So I figured, well, if I just do half a sandwich with some peanut butter, that'll be a nice filler, you know what I mean, where I'm not going to feel as hungry. Well, let me make this hamburger. I Maybe. We also did pizza bowls. Have you ever had those? No, but or you I just do pizza. the ground beef, like with some Italian seasoning. And you also do like mushrooms. Because that kind of makes up your more of your ground beef. And then you um put that in a bowl with pizza sauce. Put your pizza sauce on the bottom, then your ground beef. I'm and, really your, and your that. mushrooms, <laughs> and then your cheese and pepperoni or whatever else you would want on your pizza. And you just kind of then you when you melt the you know, the microwave or melt and then mix it all together. It's really good. And those you can make ahead of time. 
too. I didn't think about bringing three nurses carrying this crown beads, but I have them in the little slot. So, okay. Let me just give it one more second. I'll show you what else is in the. So, in the Big Mac style in a jar, it's just a pint size jar. And we will put the sauce on the bottom. Then we will put the ground beef. And then we will layer it with onions, pickles, tomatoes, cheese, and then the lettuce goes on top. You want the lettuce farthest away from the sauce so that stays crisp. Now, do you have to put it in or can it be warm when it goes in? It can be warm when it goes in. Oh, yeah, because you put your onions on top of that. So your onions, they can get a little bit yeah. washed up. Right, so we're going to divide the sauce between the four jars. Hi, everybody that's just joined us. I see we have three people. If you have any comments or if you want to share something or ask us questions, please let us know. We're pretending we're Ben Kroger. <laughs> Oh gosh, Martha Stewart. Oh, I'm Martha Stewart. Thank Stewart. you. Oh, she she can be, or it can be Julia Child. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> okay. I guess this is a, a good amount. I was thinking it wasn't going to be enough, but. I like the prepping. I do my vegetables for the week. And then I'll talk to anything um, on a Sunday, and then it'll be ready, and then I'll have to make a big big sandwich or not sandwich or whatever. I saw where they had the, the little jars, the like the little tiny yeah. jars, and they had like cheese and pepperoni in there, and then they took um, the little cups that your fruit come in. Yeah, yeah, and. They put the crackers in it, and then this fit like right, and it fit right down over top of it. I've so your crackers that. are on top and stayed nice and crisp, and then your rest of stuff. I thought that was a really good idea. Or your dip to go in the top, if and your function. vegetables are soft. to bring a strainer so I'm just gonna kind of try to get as much grease off as I can. It's kind of hard to determine how much <laughs> provided it's one pound of ground beef for four jars. Big Mac sauce on the bottom, okay. then our ground beef. Now onions. And since these are just for me, I'm moving my fingers. <laughs> so it depends on how much, you know, if you like a lot of onion, you could put a lot of onion in there. Yes. What do you want? Yeah. And I'm like not a really big tomato person. I'm going to put tomatoes in here, but not 
a whole lot. Okay, so there's our onion, then pickle, which I just um, chopped up um, spear pickle, uh, dill pickle, dill pickle spears. So like I said, that just depends on what you like. Tomato. You could do these as tacos too. Like a taco salad. Yes, you yeah. could use taco meat. Can you get the cheese out of there? I can't. You already did all the pepper, so that's pretty much done. It's not for me to do. Okay, so that's a good idea to do. Not too long on a Sunday if you want to do it. Okay, you want to cheat. Yeah, there's two different kinds in there. I like cook and cheese, so. I have Mexican style blend and Colby Jack, so whatever kind of cheese you want. It says um, a fourth a cup of cheese for all four. That's not enough cheese ever. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> to me, it's probably a fourth for each um, one, probably. I'm making a mess. I'm not gonna lie, I'm making sure in case I just gonna eat it from the door. Well, you don't eat it from the door. You just use it to store. Just to tear it, then you dump it into a bowl. I got what you mean. Okay. Yeah. And, and then then your lettuce on too. top. It is kind of messy. And then to kind of push it down so you can get a lot of lettuce in there. Okay. I used romaine lettuce. Use whatever you want. I think it actually says romaine. I am making a big mess though. I guess you could use bigger jars if you wanted bigger salads. Jars. Yeah. Yeah. These jars came from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> now see, look, that was one bag of lettuce. So that was like perfect for four jars. So then you just screw your lid on. You got your layers, and then when you get ready to eat it, you just dump it into your bowl, and you're all set to go. Yeah, for the rest of the week, they're going to be here in the refrigerator. <laughs> I mean, really, it's very simple. It is. Yeah, and it's not a lot of prep. True. Yeah. Really, the only thing you have you have to make is the dressing. And if you go to yep. one side that you think you still want to make the dressing, you could put Thousand Island dressing. If you're okay with that. Yeah. So that is my Big Mac salad in a jar. And I will share the recipe. I'm holding it here since we're alive right now. So as soon as we go from not being alive, I will share it. Do you want to switch places with me? Or? I can actually probably just start with it. Yeah, because I did some of the prep work because I did not know how we would do. I'm going to swing you around. All right. Yeah, you should be able to see it. Let me bring this over here. iPad on it. 
All right, everybody. Let me bring this up so you can actually hear while I'm talking. Oh, my hair looks so attractive right now. Um, the mask. Okay. The mask <laughs> wonderful. We are reading our collection right now. Um, we are trying to make room for new books that are coming on the shelf. Um, and if you haven't been in our libraries before, we had a lot of cookbooks. Um, so we weed a lot of the old ones that weren't circulating anymore. They're often out for sale. Any of the ones that were falling apart or that we could um, send to a place to make um, a little bit of profit on, which is literally and never happens. So they're normally always out for sale. Um, that's what we've been doing with all of our weeded materials, especially cookbooks. So there was this cookbook. Um, I know it's probably showing backwards. Um, Campbell's Black Label Recipes and More. Um, this was at Solinsky. And I put it on the deleted cart. Um, we got it deleted um, due to inactivity. And then when I opened it, I kind of was interested in seeing a little bit more. So I ended up buying it from the sale cart. Um, so I am making, and obviously they get you because they put the nice little picture in there and then it makes you really want to eat it. I'm making what is called tortilla vegetable bites. So you might wonder why it's in the Campbell's actual recipes. Well, they're telling you to use Campbell's dry onion soup and recipe mix. I think I just used one from either Aldi's or I don't even remember where I got my, you can buy that cheap anywhere. So I just used that. Um, but everything that was in this recipe has something to do with the Campbell's items. So what I did, because I did not know, they said about time today and cream cheese sometimes takes a second to get it to where you want it, the consistency. I pre-made my mixture. So in this mixture, and it doesn't look appetizing to tell you the truth, it smells really good. Um, but it is one package of cream cheese softened, um, one cup of the um, dry onion soup recipe mix. You use a little bit of hot sauce. It's called for a, a teaspoon. I'm gonna say do it to flavor, whatever you like. Um, one small carrot shredded, two green onions chopped, and six flour tortillas. So with this, you should be able to put it on six tortillas. Now they're saying the eight inch. I have, what did I end up buying? Mm -hmm. I left the other one. I think these are 10, yeah. Um, I have bigger ones at home. I bought these. They're already open, so I'm assuming my husband already helped himself to it. But I only need six of them. So as long as we have six left, um, I will spread this thin on here and then I'll try to be fancy and cut them up like that. Let's bring it down. And I did trouble with work today. It's so bright in here for some odd reason. Yeah, we should be able to see it. Um, that it was in my lunchbox and then right before here, I let this sit out so that it becomes a little bit more credible. So I'm gonna pull one out. And I'm thinking that depending upon if you want these really thick or not, it's going to depend upon how you roll them and cut them in the end. So I'm just going to take, I still think it needed a little bit more to it. It might be easier to spread this when you've had it soften for even a while. And when I did it yesterday, you know what? That actually might work. Yeah, getting it in there, getting a little bit. But it looks like the covered even, and I'm always a fatty, as I say many times. I like to overstuff my tacos. I don't care if it falls out. But for this, because we're pinwheeling them, you literally don't want to put too much in there because then, yeah, it'll just look a hot mess. So we'll do here, and I'm falling. I don't think we have anybody here. These are making smaller ones. I don't know. I didn't look to see what it would do. They do. I'm pretty sure that's not an eight inch one because how I see, see, we're learning together. Okay, because I didn't get it. Um, because I didn't get it completely real little in the middle it's making it a space right now so it looks like i'm gonna have to do it super tight yeah because there's it's smaller right there and i'm only doing like there we go we finally got to one <laughs> that looks correctly it might be just because um there we go a little bit of color in the back 
It might be because most of my stuff's in the middle and the ending is going to make the ugly one. So, all right, mine are looking like the picture, but mine is not looking as big as the picture, even though my tortillas are bigger. So, just cut a few more and test the theory that it was the ends. Yeah, it's definitely the ends. And these ones are a little bit thicker. So the end ones, you get that little overhang because I guess there's not as much being wrapped. The only thing I could think of is to do two together and roll it and you'd be able to save a little bit more. Like if you laid two side by side and then maybe roll back together, you would only lose these two ends. Whereas if you do them separately, you yeah. lose all four ends. But these look pretty edible. I'm going to make another one or two for lunch today. Um, and then I was telling Kim because she's keto friendly, I think that everything in here, it should be keto, right? Minus um, the flour roll. No, I am, and I actually use, because I had already prepped my carrots for the weekend containers, I had baby carrots. So I shredded baby carrots. Um, but it says one small carrot. And I'm honestly thinking that you could probably do, you could probably take out the carrots. If you're not an onion fan, you could probably take out the onions. And if you really just wanted the flavoring of the onion mix and the cream cheese, then that's all you can put in there. It's kind of sad though. These are super, super small. Oh, you could be right. <laughs> Because yeah, it is saying eight inch. And it's also saying that you cut up, the, cut them, them into one slice or one inch slices. And if desired, garnish with jalapeno peppers, carrots, and green onion, um, which they did here. So I'm thinking even if you're a jalapeno pepper fan or any mm -hmm. of that stuff, you could mix it in. You could probably do tomatoes, but they probably have to be tomatoes that had most of their innards scraped off. So it wasn't yeah, I mean, you could really do a lot of things. It's saying that it's making 36 appetizers, so probably 36 of these. Um, but the bad thing is I'd probably eat these so that they didn't go out and mess up my <laughs> lovely plate to guests. Um, prep time, six minutes, and then it's saying that you chill for two hours. I'm not chilling for two hours. I'm eating this in a little bit. So. <laughs> Are you chilling? You chill this whole thing together, and I think, I'm assuming, it's because this will sit there and chill and then they'll be firmer yeah. so that they were not as floppy around and you could probably fix that floppiness if you spread it just get a little messy yeah um or be fancy and do to pick and then you could have them sitting here ready to eat as a little hors d'oeuvre i'm eating it for lunch i might not even eat the other one <laughs> So we've had a few people join us today. I haven't don't see any commentary. So what I'm going to do, let me swap this back around so you can see both of my eyes. Um, I am going to end up with the book um, in a few seconds. Um, I want to remind people that um, this will be on Facebook, obviously, to watch. We're recording it. Actually, funny enough, I didn't hit record. We're not recording it for YouTube. I'll have to figure out how to get the thing from Facebook. I knew I was going to forget something, and I even have this. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Oh, no, you won't. I have a lovely, like, <laughs> orange spoofing of it right here that says record to remind me to read this book. We're learning as we go. Um, Kim also, we forgot, she mentioned that we forgot to note for this month that we are doing it through Zoom and then posting it onto YouTube or on Facebook, and eventually it'll be on YouTube. So, um, if you want to join us and actually be able to talk to us and we hear you, um, email us, like I said before, and we'll get you on and then you can be um, live with us. Um, other people will probably hear you on Facebook, so as long as they're okay with that. Otherwise, thank you again for joining us. Um, we will do this again next month, which we're probably going to be doing this again for a while, just Kim and I doing some cooking. Um, mine really wasn't cooking today. Mine was just a light hors d'oeuvre or if you're feeling really, really hungry, then you make this for yourself. Um, I was even thinking that we could cook it for chips. If you had something, you know what I mean, you could do it for like with pretzels or whatever. Um, but our theme next month was we're gonna be 
um, highlighting some new cookbooks Thank you. that we got at the library. I'm like cookbook something. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a, a bunch of new cookbooks, but the one we're going to do next month, the class next month is Library Correspondent Month, yeah. and Wonder Woman is the um, person. So we're going to use the Marvel cookbook. I should have thought about that, and that should have been my costume. And I could have dressed up as Wonder Woman, but that's not my costume. But be prepared. Up. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> I, I could try to if I do, but um, be but um, I do have a, a, a couple <laughs> costumes I can wear. Um, we purchased, including the Marvel cookbook, we have um, a Hobbit one. There's a Star Trek one, a Fallout one. Um, uh, oh gosh, what's that one? My old roommate used to show me. It was one of her favorite movies. It'll probably come to me as soon as we end this. Um, there was the Marvel and a few other yeah, universe type things. Have a, have a, like, yeah. And so if you want to try something, we're both going to look in the Marvel one, and we're both going to find a recipe that we want to make for you guys here. Um, and then, again, please share your stuff. Put on Facebook, comment on. Um, we would love to continue the discussion that we would normally have in-house, yeah, even though it's virtual. Lunch recipe. Please do so. Prep, um, like we were both saying, we like prepping. So if you have something that you love putting together and it stays for that whole week, um, I was just following a um, person did um, breakfast burritos and they even broke down the cost analysis of it and they went to Aldi's. It was one of the Aldi pages that I'm a, part, I'm a group member of and they broke it down of how much it cost. And then all you did was is in the freezer you bring it out the freezer, you pop it in, heat it up, and then you were allowed to go right off the top. Um, that was, I think, breakfast, sausage, and then just the different things you could put in, tomatoes, if you wanted lettuce, whatever you wanted in your thing. They did eggs, things like that. So thanks again for joining us. We appreciate you. Um, and again, keep us posted. If there's a theme that you would like us to try, um, we will definitely try it out. All right. <laughs> See you guys.